What's up guys, in today's video we're going to break down the Markham 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. If you're new around here, my name is Jeremy. In this video series I'm taking the most popular ice fishing and kayak fishing uh, fish finder batteries, breaking them down, tearing them open, uh, checking capacity, looking at build quality. Stick around, I'm going to capacity test this one and then we will crack her open. Had a guy ask me to start weighing these things, so that is what we're going to do. This 10 amp hour lithium battery weighs two pounds, 12.1 ounces. I went ahead and used their, the included charger with this battery, got her all charged up. Now uh, let's get her going on the capacity tester. This is a 10 amp hour battery. So we're gonna discharge at a rate of 0.2 C. And so that's gonna be two amps. And we're off to races. I'll check back in after this thing uh, gets done. All right, guys. Capacity test just finished up. And I'm blown away. It is uh, way, way, way exceeded my expectations. Uh, we're looking at 11.88 amp hours out of a 10 amp hour battery. I, I have no idea what's going on here. Um... I am very pleasantly surprised this battery holds so much capacity. It is uh, rated for 10 amp hours. Uh, for it to go damn near 12 amp hours is mind blowing to me. Very excited to crack this open, see what's inside. So yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. Let's void the warranty. Hammer time. Right. First look. These wires are a lot thinner. We have a little bit of silicone and padding on one side. This pack is shrink wrapped. Uh, the top, as far as the top coming off, that came off fairly, fairly easy. Doesn't look like a whole lot of adhesive was on there. I will say the caulk job on here is the best I've seen so far. It's not like slopped all over the place. I do like that the wire terminal leads, they are soldered. Let's crack, crack open this uh, Let's break down this pack. These are 26 650 cells. These are same size cells that's in the uh, Dakota Lithium 7 amp hour battery that I broke down. The one that was built in North Dakota, not the Chinese built one. Same size cells. These ones have a little more capacity. If you have not seen that video, it's up here. It was basically a, a turd. Uh, very disappointed in in that build. Same cells, same size cells here. These ones have more capacity. These ones are 3600 milliamp. That comes out to 10.8 amp hours. This is a rated for 10 amp hours. The cells in here are 10.8. I really, really like that. Their BMS is freaking huge and I see why they did that is they instead of having those balance leads you know how those I, I said in previous videos your balance leads are, are all positive and you don't want them crossing each other and you definitely don't want them touching your cells um, you want to have low insulation Markham did away with that whole issue by making their BMS larger and just taking these nickel strips and going straight to your BMS so I see this thermometer here and I'm curious if they have lo uh, low temperature charging protection circuit. So we're going to test that out. One thing I would like to have seen with this is, okay, so you have three in parallel. These three are in parallel. These three are in parallel. These three are in parallel. And these three are in parallel. Now you have the series, 
four of the or three of these parallel cells we'll call them one cell so this one's in series with that one that one's in series with that one that one's in series with with this one um so your, your voltages are going to be different between this one and this one and this one and this one so what i really would have liked to have seen is them separate those different voltage potentials you, you really don't want these touching and there's plenty of room to do it in their pack because they're using a, a spacer already so i would have liked to have seen a spacer or some type of insulation between these different cells that have different voltages i would have liked to have seen some thicker wires these are actually 18 awg i really like this how this is set up this bms is huge everything's not all grouped up and and creating a lot of heat i did notice they did have fish paper over it um but you have such a big pcb printed circuit board that your heat's really uh dissipated and it's on top so it's probably not that big of a deal we're going to test out this charging circuit here but yeah i really like this battery guys so far we have a salty ice water mix here 26 degrees or so 26.6 .6 degrees uh we're going to put we're, we got this battery pack on the charger. We're going to put this amp meter on her. We're charging at a rate of one amp. The temperature probe is so short. I do not think it has a low temperature protection circuit. Or if it does, it doesn't work. Okay, guys. Let's talk about my concluding thoughts about this battery. Keep in mind these are my thoughts and my thoughts only no one's paying me to do this i bought this battery with my own money things i like it was packaged really well uh the lid was pretty easy to get off there wasn't a whole lot of adhesive but it was nice neat and clean inside they didn't go overboard with their caulking they had a nice little spacer in there the pack was nice and secure their bms is huge i actually think that's a i, I like that um, you have a lot of surface area to dissipate heat. Their balance leads are nickel strips tack welded to the BMS. Nothing's crisscrossing. Everything is, is nice, neat, and clean in the pack. I really, really, really like that they overbuilt as far as the cell capacity. This pack tested at like 11.88. It's rated as a 10 amp hour battery. The cells in here, if you add them all up, they come out to 10.8 amp hours. So very very impressed with the capacity uh, i think this battery is priced right 100 bucks with their charger pleasantly surprised with those aspects of this battery now the stuff that i don't like i don't like that they're using 18 awg wires um, on the bms i think those should be 14 16 to 14 somewhere in there these these are pretty thin wires i don't like that there's no insulation separating these series cells I don't like that they're low ch there's no low charging uh, protection circuit. Um, and, and the reason that's important is because you don't want these cells to be below freezing when you charge them. The re reason being is you ruin those cells' ability to retain a charge. And with that circuit in place, the BMS will stop that charger uh, from charging these cells. That's a very important feature that I've only found on a cheap, so far only found on a cheap turd of a battery. I'll leave that link up here. This one ranks up there with the, the, the two other batteries that I can really recommend at this point in the video series. Dakota Lithium 10 amp hour made in China and the Amped Outdoors 12 amp hour. Um, I think this is a premium level battery. Would like to see Markham make those improvements and if you do by all means please let me know then I'll, I'll check it out again do another review but uh yeah thanks for watching guys if you haven't already hit that thumbs up button really helps me out leave the comments uh let me know what battery you think i should review next make sure you check out one of these videos i think they're gonna be on this side actually check out one of those videos thanks guys